Okay, hello. So uh, right now, I'm going to go through um, an algorithm which is called the bubble sort. And I suppose you've heard of it before. And if you haven't, well, just, you know, you're going to listen to it now. Anyway, so what the bubble sort does is uh, we get a list of integers of floats. So now we're going to work with integers and positive integers. Uh, we're going to check it with negative integers to see how it works. And we're going to... Uh, order the list from the biggest, to, no, from the smallest to the biggest value, okay? And there's a lot of ways to do this, okay? And this one of them is called the bubble sort. And this is the one today I'm going to talk about. And how does it work, okay? Well, the bubble sort is going to compare one value to the one beside him. And it's going to say, is this one bigger than the other one? If it is, swap. If it isn't, no swap. And then go to check the next one, okay? And it's going to go through that all the time, okay? So basically, um, let's just pretend we have this list of numbers and I want to sort it, okay? What the bubble algorithm will do is, it's going to go number by number, okay? It's going to go this, this, this. It's going to go one by one. And it's going to say, okay, first number. Is this number bigger than this one? Is it bigger than one? It is. Okay, swap. And then we're going to end up with this, okay? And now it's going to say, okay, now that it's swapped, okay? Let's go to the second number and check. Is this number bigger than this one? It is. So basically what we're going to do is going to swap them. And we're going to end up with this, okay? It's going to keep check. It's going to keep checking. Is this one bigger than this one? It is. And it's going to swap them. It's going to swap these two ones, as you see here. Then it's going to check a uh, this one, this one, and it's going to say it is bigger. Seven is bigger than one, than four. So it's going to check us. It's going to swap them, okay? And we're going to end up with a list, okay? A, and then it's going to check this too and it's, we're going to end up with a list like this okay and it just went to through it one and you're going to, once and you're going to think that list isn't sorted yet is it but we've done something good and what have we done we've done that we've put the very last value this one here uh, that's the, the biggest okay we checked one by one we got the biggest value and we just put it at the very end okay and then what are we going to do well, we're going to start all over again, and we're going to check this one, and this one is bigger. No, it's not. It's, uh, okay, so nothing happens. We're going to check, is 5 bigger than 2? It is, so we're going to swap them. And we're going to put the 5, is going to end up here, so, okay? So it's going to end up like something like that, okay? And it's going to keep doing that. So as you can see, the pattern is that it's going to put the biggest here. Okay, it's going to put here the biggest, here the not so biggest but the second biggest okay then here and here 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 and we're going to end up with a sorted list okay so as you can see there's like an algorithm okay and to do the algorithm um well we're going we're going to cover it now okay so the basics is we need to have a for loop we need to have a loop that's going to go through every single number okay and then an inner for loop which is going to swap okay the first for loop it's basically just going to go through every single digit, okay? So it's going to go through this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, okay? Because we need to end, and the second one is going to check if one is bigger than the, the other one, and if it is, swap, okay? So uh, we'll see the code now, okay? And, we, and, and, and we'll see, and we'll, we'll just have a look at it now, okay? So we have this little template here with the variables we're going to need. So as I said before, we need a for loop which is going to keep track of the no of the of where i is okay so we're going to call it i which is going to keep track of that i has to be less okay well i has to be less why is it n which is the size no it has to be n minus one okay and i'll explain that in a second let me just write that now why is it n minus one well it's n minus one because it's um because uh, at the very end okay so let's just pretend for a second that the computer is nearly finished, okay? It has done this this way. Three, two, okay? So we have this list, okay? And we have one and one, okay? So the computer is nearly finished. So all you have to check these two ones here, okay? Well, it's going to check if this one is bigger than this one. If it is, they're going to swap them, okay? This just, in, in this example, it just coincides as it is. And then it has this number. And then at the very end, it has this number here. Who is it going to compare it with? Because there's no other number to go to the left, is there? So that's why we need n minus 1, because you're going to check n minus 1 times, okay? And n represents the size of your list. So, okay, so now that we know that, we need to have another for loop, okay? And I'll explain that now in a second. 
So j has to be less than, again, a minus 1, but minus i. Let's explain that in a second. j plus plus. Okay, so i, as we said, is going to represent the, the list of numbers. Okay, so let me just go up for a second. And if we get rid of this, i is going to represent um, i is going to represent from which number we start. Okay, so it's going to check this one and, this, and okay, so it's going to check a uh, i basically is going to keep track of how many times we did it. Okay, and as we said, we need to do it a minus one times. Okay, so that's what i is doing. But now we need a for loop. Okay, why do we need a for loop? Because i is just keeping track of how many times we're doing this. Okay, j for what we, what J does is J is going to is going to um basically swap. For example, in the first example, um is going to swap this one. And, let's just pretend this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. As you as you saw, there's a pattern. Why is there a pattern? Okay, because one uh, is going to swap. Is going to uh, check uh, the number minus one for the second iteration. It's going to check something different, okay? So if we have with the second iteration, it's going to have to check this one, this one, this one, this one. Then it's going to have to check and swap or swap this one, this one, this one, then this one, this one. As you can see, there's a pattern, okay? So always it's going to be n the size minus i, which is i keeps track of how many times we've done it, okay? Because as you can see, when i increments, j decrements, okay? And um, and what else we need to keep track and Okay, so that's why it's n minus 1 minus i, okay? Um, we know that again, okay? So now we have that. What do we do? Well, we're going to need to create a temporary variable, which I called temp, and we're going to give the array. This is just swapping, okay? So right now what we're doing is swapping, okay? So if you want me, I'll write it down here now. Um, oh, no, what am I doing? Sorry, no, I forgot. Now we need to check, well, is the, is the value on the right, is my value... Is it bigger than the value beside me? So basically, we do if R J, okay, J is as we said before, J. Let me just finish writing this because I can't do three times at the same time, three things at the same time. So I can't even talk. Um, a plus one. So let's just close brackets. So where is the where is this the, where is this doing? Okay, well as I said, J is go J is going to go one by one. Okay, so it's going to come here. It's gonna say okay. Well, tell me, is this one bigger than this one? It is. If it is, swap, okay? So if j is array j bigger than array j plus 1, okay? Because j, as you can see, just gives tracks of the index of them, okay? And if it is, swap, okay? And that's basically what we're doing. And then we need to increment j. How do we increment j? Well, the for loop does it for us, okay? So if it is, what do we need to do? If it is, we need to, oh gosh, um, swap, okay? Is that how you spell it? No, like that. Okay. So, swap. How do we swap? Well, we create a temporary variable, okay? And this is a just common sense. And um, we say, okay, the temporary variable is going to be j. Okay. Then we're going to say array j uh, is equal to array j plus 1. Okay, so now, and then we need to put into array j plus 1, we need to push temp. So another swap, okay? You can't just say, well, that's just common sense, okay? I'm not going to go through it because the video is going to be long as hell, okay? And that's just about it, okay? So this is basically what we're doing. is is going one by one. The, the first for loop is basically keeping track of, what is it keeping track of? It's keeping track of a the number of times to do it okay so basically this is keeping track of how many times do we have to do it okay because we can't just do it an infinite times the second for loop what it's doing is just keeping track of um how many times do we have to do do we have to check if it's swapping or not okay so that's basically keeping track of keeping track of if we need to swap or not, okay? And then this one is just checking, do we have to swap? Yes, if we do, we have to swap, we swap it. If not, we just don't touch them and let it go, okay? So now, 
let's run the program okay what do we need to, what do we need to run the program well to run the program that's not going to print anything to the screen sure it isn't so let's just write down a little for loop that is going to check one by one okay and as you can see that list there uh, we have it ordered okay let's just try it with a negative number okay with negative numbers so let's just say that is let's just call that two and let's just call that n a a so okay n is the size as i said before and you can see it's our source as well okay it's minus six minus four minus one 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 two three five okay so as you can see now a uh, this does work okay and i hope that was understandable okay I would recommend if that wasn't well first if you don't really understand or if you did just let me know okay because I kind of want to know and let's see if I can do some and uh, I would also recommend to try to find links and if I remember I'll put links in the description of the animations which are easier to see and visualize okay um but anyway thanks for watching and yeah just that thanks for watching <laughs>